Woo! Daniel Bryan is back. He's gonna be styling and profiling at WrestleMania 34 because he's gonna walk that out and destroy everybody in the ring. So, Daniel Bryan is back. I'm so excited. Ric Flair impersonation and all. I mean, let's get right into it. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Earlier today, and I mean, SmackDown is currently still going on as I tape this. I'm so excited. Look, earlier today, the news came out. Daniel Bryan is back. He's been cleared by WWE. And just mass pandemonium on Twitter just broke loose. Everybody's just completely happy. And it's crazy because I always say... Like amongst the wrestling communities, one of my sayings is that it's hard to get us all to universally agree 100% on anything. And this one was a 100%. Yes, I'm so happy for that guy. Because we really love that guy. And to be honest, Daniel Bryan is not one of my guys because I'm an early 90s wrestling fan. But I connected with that guy because he was getting done wrong in that storyline. They finally gave in to the fans. And... I thought it was a great deal. I think this is a great deal. I'm so happy to see him back. I have some positives and I also have some negatives about this. But let's get right into it. Um, tonight, we had a very interesting promo from Daniel Bryan. I'll tell you what, one of the negatives I will say before I get into that is that I wish they would have just announced it on SmackDown because that really would have tore down the house if they'd announced it on SmackDown. But with that being said, tonight we got the, the, the promo, we got the start of SmackDown, and I gotta admit, I was getting a little emotional, and it, it was just a cool thing because, you know, wrestling doesn't get me to feel that way anymore. I mean, I hadn't felt, felt that way about wrestling since like the 90s or whatever, but I was getting emotional about this, and that is just a cool thing, and Daniel Bryan gave a heartfelt promo. Thanked Bree for pushing him. Uh, he thanked the fans that were stood behind him since day one. And it was just a fantastic promo. I loved every bit of it. Uh, right when he got done on, on that promo, I said it was the... I think I said on Twitter it was the one of the best WWE segments in years, in recent memory. And that it, it, it was because of the emotion of it. All the fans loved him. And it was just phenomenal. And I mean... Why it definitely strikes a chord with me is that one of my there's nothing there's only few things more worth only few things worse in wrestling than seeing someone being forced to retire early and I hated to see that happen to Daniel Bryan and I'm happy that he's back and it is just an emotional time WrestleMania the crowd just started chanting WrestleMania WrestleMania and it was just a great deal. And I gotta say, as it pertains to WrestleMania, man, I hope they don't do this tag match with, with Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon and, and uh, against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I mean, sure, that's where it looks like it's heading. But man, now that Daniel Bryan is back, I want to see so much more. They had the segment with Ziggler and... Like, man, I want, I want to see so much more. I love to see uh, Daniel Bryan versus... Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, a triple threat at WrestleMania. Now that uh, Shane has been injured, I would love to see that happen at WrestleMania. That would just be the highlight match of the night, arguably. Arguably, those three guys and like put something on it. I don't know if it would just be a grudge match. Oh, if you want to put something on it, you put something on it. I'm very interested to see where this goes, where this WWE run goes, he has matches out the wazoo if WWE lets him off his chain. And that's what, I, I want to see how committed to this WWE is before I get too excited. I want to see if they're going to just let Daniel Bryan be Daniel Bryan. I'm interested to see how much he can move around, how well he can wrestle just like his old self. And WWE has to be careful. I mean, look, you have to understand that we love this guy. If he gets done wrongly or treated unfairly as far as booking goes, the crowd will revolt again and they will revolt strongly. So, with that being said, one last negative, and I hate to end it on a negative that I have, is that 
the reason that WWE allowed this to happen. Look, Daniel Bryan had been getting cleared for years from doctors, and I mean, apparently lately he was in a hyperbaric chamber. I mean, when I saw that, I, I was like, man, is he Goku or Vegeta or Gohan or something like that? Is Dragon Ball Z? Is it a hyperbaric time chamber? But that's beside the point. I don't want to derail the topic. But Daniel Bryan had been getting cleared for years, and it just so happens that Daniel Bryan's contract is about to come up. And you know, it just so happens when his contract is about to come up, and you know, Daniel Bryan was just bent on wrestling. Daniel Bryan was going to wrestle somewhere, whether it be WWE, New Japan, Ring of Honor, wherever. He was going to wrestle somewhere. And I really think WWE did this to keep him from leaving the company because if Daniel Bryan leaves WWE and goes to another company, that is huge business. Or if Daniel Bryan does a thing where he's working in multiple companies at all times, that is huge business for uh, competitors or for opposing companies. And I really think WWE did this to keep him within the fold. That's just my opinion on it. <laughs> no man, they got Daniel Bryan taking bumps tonight. Wait a minute. All right, I'm looking at this right now. Daniel Bryan out here taking bumps. He's doing the, the, the classic hits. This is a good build. I still don't want to see the tag match, but this is a good build. I cannot wait. And I mean, look, just, just tell me down below. What did you think about Daniel Bryan's return? It's promo, this segment with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Just everything. If you got any opinions, just drop them down below.